Good afternoon, AVID, and thank you for embracing this life-changing program. I hope that your AVID journey is as rewarding for you as it has been for me. These past four years in my AVID familia have blessed me with the opportunity to speak to you today. It is a great honor. My mom wants me to get married. No college, just marriage is what she wants. No one in my surrounding family has gone, so they ask themselves, why should Laura? She is oblivious to the growth of my faith, the embracing of mi raza, and the overflowing anticipation for college ignited in me through AVID. AVID, the program of dreams, the wishing star for underprivileged kids, sculpting students' fantasies into concrete reality, carrying us to college. AVID, carrying me beyond my mother's expectations, allowing me to dream a future of being more than she ever imagined, than I ever imagined. Last summer, my 18-year-old cousin got married. At the ceremony, my mother was crying a river of joy, crying that my cousin hadn't encountered the fate of becoming a mother at 14. My cousin was at least getting married first. After the wedding, I jokingly told my mom that I also wanted to get married at 18 so that I could have a lot of grandchildren for her. She looked at me with tears in her eyes and said, Ay, mijita, if that really does happen, it will be the happiest day of my life. Just to see you in that white wedding dress, I just don't know what would happen to me. Me getting married is the happiest day of her life. What about holding my college acceptance letter at 18? What about weeping with joy when seeing me in my graduation cap and gown? and that being the happiest day of her life. <laughs> AVID revealed a pathway to my highest hopes and most daring dreams. AVID offered me its hand and saved me from drowning in the well of oppression that is oftentimes inescapable for my Latina woman. Marriage? Is that really the highest expectation of a Latina? I don't want to have that fate. I don't want to be like the infinite other Hispanic woman enslaved to our, to our culture's expectations. I want to be an invincible Latina woman, strong and unstoppable, who follows the avid escape route through dreams and endless opportunities. Avid has given me more than just Cornell notes and binder checks. My dear, dear AVID teachers, Ms. Mary Murphy Tick and Melissa Lopez dried the tears of doubt when I was drenched in uncertainty. In their classrooms, my dreams of going to a four-year university became vivid and tangible. My AVID counselor, Mrs. McShane, pushed the limits and never stopped working to make sure I was accepted into college. Now, because of the hard work of these three amazing women, because of AVID, I have been accepted and will be attending Grand Canyon University in Phoenix, Arizona this fall. <laughs> where I will double major in biblical and theological studies and pre-medicine. <laughs> I have been awarded many scholarships, including the Grand Canyon University's Provost Academic Scholarship, the Christian Studies Scholarship, and the Diversity Leadership Alliance Private Scholarship. I auditioned for the Grand Canyon University's Canyon Singers Choir and was awarded a scholarship to sing with them. It was also a great honor for me to have been chosen as North Canyon High School's Principal Student Extraordinaire along with the Dollars for Scholars Scholarship. In total, I have been awarded $23,000 in renewable scholarships. I am 
well on my way to becoming a doctor, all because AVID gave me courage to hope. Most of all, because my AVID family never, ever stopped loving me. In my happily ever after, I will wear my mother's white wedding dress, but I will also wear my purple graduation cap and gown, my ocean blue scrubs, the white lab coat, and maybe, just maybe, a burp cloth on my shoulder. <laughs> Avid has shown me that I can do anything and have everything. Avid allowed me to believe in me. Thank you.